Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Soil Engineering Compressibility and Consolidation of Soil The compressibility of soil is defined as the capability of soil to decrease its volume under mechanical loads, whereas the consolidation is the compression of saturated soil under steady pressure and it is occurred as a result of water expulsion from the soil voids. Compressibility and consolidation of soil are crucial parameters required in the design considerations. The consolidation of soil is divided into three stages including initial consolidation, primary consolidation, and secondary consolidation. The consolidation of soil is time-dependent and its analysis is usually based on Terzaghi's theory. Compressibility of soil When a soil mass is subjected to a compressive force, its volume decreases i.e. giving amount of settlement. The property of the soil due to which a decrease in volume occurs under compressive force is known as the compressibility of soil. The compression of soil can occur due to compression of solid particles and water in the voids, compression and expulsion of air in the voids, expulsion of water in the voids. At the point when a soil mass is subjected to the compressive force, its volume diminishes. The property of the dirt because of which a decline in volume happens under compressive constraint is known as the compressibility of soil. This compressibility of soil can happen due to Compaction of strong particles and water in the hollows. Compression and removal of air in the voids. Removal of water in the voids The pressure of immersed soil under a consistent static weight is known as union. It is completely because of ejection of water from the voids. Consolidation of soil. The compression of saturated soil under steady static pressure is termed as consolidation which is completely due to expulsion of water from the voids. Consolidation is generally related to fine-grained soils such as silts and clays. Coarse-grained soils, such as sands and gravels, also undergo consolidation but at a much faster rate due to their high permeability. Saturated clays consolidate at a much slower rate due to their low permeability. The process of consolidation is often confused with the process of compaction. Compaction increases the density of an unsaturated soil by reducing the volume of air in the voids. However, consolidation is a time-related process of increasing the density of a saturated soil by draining some of the water out of the voids. Consolidation theory is required for the prediction of both the magnitude and the rate of consolidation settlements to ensure the serviceability of structures founded on a compressible soil layer. Consolidation of soil is composed of three components which include 
Initial Consolidation Primary Consolidation and Secondary Consolidation Initial Consolidation when alloed is applied to a partially saturated soil, a decrease in volume occurs due to expulsion and compression of air in the voids. A small decrease in volume occurs due to compression of solid particles. The reduction in volume of the soil just after the application of the load is known as initial consolidation or initial compression. For saturated soils, the initial consolidation is mainly due to compression of solid particles. Primary Consolidation After initial consolidation, Further reduction in volume occurs due to expulsion of water from the voids. When a saturated soil is subjected to a pressure, initially all the applied pressure is taken up by water as an excess poor water pressure. A hydraulic gradient would develop and the water starts flowing out and a decrease in volume occurs. This reduction in volume is called as the primary consolidation of soil. In fine grain soils, the primary consolidation occurs, over a long time, however, in coarse grain soils, the primary consolidation occurs rather quickly because of high permeability. Secondary Consolidation The reduction in volume continues at a very slow rate even after the excess hydrostatic pressure developed by the applied pressure is fully dissipated and the primary consolidation is complete. The additional reduction in the volume is called as the secondary consolidation. Secondary consolidation becomes important for certain types of soil, such as peats and soft organic clays. Compaction versus Consolidation of Soils Both compaction and consolidation are responsible to cause a reduction in the volume of Soil which is due to the compressibility characteristics of the soil. The differences between these two are tabulated below. Differences between compaction and consolidation of soil. Following are the differences between compaction and consolidation of soils. Serial number. Compaction Consolidation 1. Compaction is the compression of soil by the expulsion of air from. Consolidation is the compression of soil by the expulsion of water from voids of. Serial number Compaction Consolidation 2IT is a quick process. It is a slow process. 3SHORT term loading is required. Long term loading is required. For a loading is applied in a dynamic way. Loading is static and constant. 5. Any type of soil either it is cohesion or cohesionless can be compacted. Consolidation applies to cohesive soils only especially for low permeable clay. C. 
6. Degree of saturation of soil to be compacted should be less than 100%. Degree of saturation of soil to be consolidated should be 100%. Serial number Compaction Consolidation 7. SHEAR strength of soil increases Shear strength of soil increases 8. Void ratio compressibility and permeability decreases Void ratio, compressibility, and permeability decreases. 9. Bearing capacity and settlement characteristics improve. Bearing capacity and settlement characteristics improve. 10. Compaction is done purposely in order to get maximum dry density of soil. Consolidation of soil occurs naturally due to structural loads from foundations. 11. It is done before the construction of structure. It begins naturally along with the construction work. 12. Token structures, earthen dams, embankments etc. Compaction is useful. The foundation soil properties will improve over a long period due to consolidation. Further, we have seen constructing road, where we see base and sub-base are spreaded. Gravel, soil etc., and then it is compressed by the help of roller to not let the soil for further settlement while running vehicle or traffic on it. This is called compaction of soil. Again when we constructed a structure like dam or other heavy structure then there will exert static load and pressure by their foundation due to which the soil mass below it gradually lose its void and volume of soil mass decreased and become dry. This is called consolidation of soil. Thank you for watching. For now. Please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.